report major red flag in 250 U.S. counties for voter registration fraud by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. Here we go again, folks. We're approaching an important election and the signs of voter fraud start uh, cropping up. Now we're learning that nearly 250 counties across the U.S. have more registered voters than people eligible to vote. Once again, proving that if Democrats were truly interested in voter integrity, they uh, too would want voter ID laws passed. They don't want any truth coming out. They don't want voter ID laws being passed. They don't want anything that stands for this country or the integrity of this country. From Breitbart, nearly uh, 250 counties across the United States have more registered voters on the voting rolls than the number of eligible citizen voters. Government Accountability Institute, GAI Research Director uh, Eric Eggers uh, revealed in his new book, Eggers told Breitbart News Editor-in-Chief Alex Marlowe on Cyrus XM, Patriots uh, Breitbart News Daily, as his new book, Fraud, How the Left Plans to Steal the Next Election, details that voter fraud in the U.S. is a real issue that has yet to be dealt with. You have 248 counties in this country that have more registered voters than you have citizens of legal voting age. Nearly 3 million people are registered to vote in more than one state, Egger said. Even Barack Obama's administration said that, yeah, maybe 16 million election registrations are completely inaccurate. And in some states, this uh, is as many as one in seven registrations. Wow, that is a lot. One in seven. Yeah, Egger said Democrats and left-wing organizations funded by globalist billionaire George Soros uh, fight at every turn to keep any effort to increase voter security, which he said includes leveling the charges of racism any time a state wants to do anything about combating voter fraud. So in other words, 16 million election registrations are completely inaccurate. I mean, really? In exclusive Breitbart News interviews, uh, Egger said the Democratic Party uh, political machine is built in part on the reliance of illegal votes cast by demographics that vote reliably for Democrats. A report chronicled by Breitbart News noted how despite claims that voter ID laws are aimed at suppressing voter turnout among black Americans, the latest Senate election in Alabama debunked this talking point. In the Alabama Senate runoff election last year, where, uh, where Roy Moore and Doug Jones fought to take Attorney General Jeff Sessions' former seat, black Americans turned out in droves to push Jones over the edge to win the election, even as the state had implemented a new voter ID law. Eggers has said that there is no evidence to support the claim that voter ID laws suppress or decrease voter turnout among black Americans. Look, they got the machines that are rigged. They got dead people voting. They have illegals voting. Now you're telling me there's 16 million election registrations are completely inaccurate? Come on now. And you know that's all pushed by uh, uh, for the Democrats to win. I mean, you see what I'm saying? And then people wonder, how come the country is in such a mess? Yeah, because your vote doesn't count basically like this, That's take, what, what's taking place. That's why they said Hillary won the popular vote. You think that woman with those empty rallies had the popular vote? Does she look like anything that would have a popular vote? I mean, who in their right mind except a few dumb liberals that would uh, go to her rallies or vote for her? You know, what, 10% of the country? 20, I'll give you. The rest, I doubt that they went for Hillary, that's for sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.